Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, now this is just a little quick continuation of yesterday and I just wanted to show that um, one, that I didn't kill this device when it went into avalanche and just overheated, got to around 86 degrees I believe. It would have been hotter if I got the probe on there straight away. Uh, now nothing's changed on this circuit, the only thing I've done is try to uh, just get this probe tip to sit in the back of the heatsink here so you can keep an eye on that on this meter at the back it's currently 21 degrees in here so the uh, best area for this working is 25 c um, tops otherwise you start losing its capabilities now i'm going to tell you a bit of a shortfall of a circuit like this is one if we are now putting in let's say up to 17 volts let's reduce that down to around about sort of 14 and a half volts into this when we take away, you know, what we're losing on the diode and we're losing here because it needs to have some power, some, uh, some voltage to actually work. When, uh, when we take that away and we have got 5 volts coming out and we've got 14 volts going in, that means we've got 9 volts. And if we are pulling 1 amp through this, we've got to calculate our 9 volts being lost across this that we're trying to get rid of to have 5 volts out at 1 amp is 9 watts. So this thing is going to be heating up from the get-go, nine watts of power, and that's going to get warmer and warmer and warmer. So really, you'd probably want to transform it with a little bit less power on it, or have this running something like a nine-volt um, device here instead of this LM7805. But what I wanted to actually show you is if I now put on using that same capacitor, everything's changed, but I've just adjusted this to pretty much one amp. I'll show you what the signal looks like over here. And as you can see, it's ghastly. And we've got one amp there, we're down to 445. So I'm just going to tap that out straight away. And all I want to show you is that we can go a step further and just put in now, this is just what's on the bench at the moment. And I've got a 200, uh, 2200 microfarads capacitor here ensuring that we get these things the right way around of course because they are polarity they're polarities and they want to be in the right polarity so now i'm going to put this back down again we can we can see as that's going up i mean we're very hot over here did you see what this um this is saying here but we got a nice we've got a nice uh, straight line there which means it's nice and clean but it's very hot on this side it's probably not showing this very well just because it uh, takes a bit for me to get it onto this oh that's not very good and that itself I think I'm not quite sure what's going on there but for some reason, why that's going, that's putting up a right old fuss. Did you notice that? Let me just put that down again. And look at the, look at the meter lot. i uh, take that off again. Now that's strange behaviour. But I suppose that could be because I've got these plugged in like a silly billy. And really, I should just be having one thing plugged in when I'm doing this. And let's just see if that makes this any, any easier to read. I just put that on there and we are T1 so we just want to switch this over to T2 there we go 55C my mistake by leaving those in I'm sure let's just see what happens when I put that down yeah that's a lot happier and we're at 54 and you can see oh how that is rising that just goes to show how quick these things get warmer and warmer and warmer. And of course, we know that once it gets up into the 80s, it tends to uh, shut out or at least over that 80. But that's all we're going to do for now. I just wanted to show you that if you put a bigger reservoir capacitor on, again, um, you're going to get a, a better signal, especially when it's running to its absolute maximum. This is maximum 1 watt, and that is normally at 25C. And of course, the... Uh, the problem with running a linear type um, voltage regulator is whatever the voltage it is, the difference times by whatever current you're putting through. And that's the wattage you're gonna have to be dissipating out of this thing at all times at that current. Okay, right, thanks for watching and I'll uh, catch you in the next one. 